Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey with Detached Designs, and today we're going to be working with XML. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build a sample news section, maybe, maybe for a website. And let's say you're in a situation where with your news section it doesn't get updated every day and you really don't need all the extra functionality that having a database can afford you. Uh, and in that situation you might want to use XML. And another reason is a lot of times with, with your host, they are going to charge you extra if you want to attach a database. So using XML, it's not as convenient, but on the other hand, it's free. And uh, as you'll see uh, with the, the new .NET framework, it's, it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do this completely from scratch. So if I make some mistakes, you'll see me work through it. But um, I, I really like to do the tutorials this way because a lot of times when, when I was learning, You'd watch the tutorials, and they assume you know, you know more than you do. Or you'll watch them do something, and you think, oh, well, how did he do that? I don't know how he did that. So we'll do this completely from scratch. Uh, you'll see me make mistakes, and you'll see me fix them. So let's get started. You can see here in our solution, we have absolutely nothing. So let's go ahead and create a CSS folder and add a style sheet. We're, we're not really going to focus too much on the design of the new section. That's something that you can do on your own. And I, I apologize through the lesson. I'm a little bit sick, so if my voice is a little cracky, I apologize. Okay, so we've added our CSS file. We're going to import it into our sheet. And then I'm going to add an XML file. Now, in this situation, we're creating a new a news page, but obviously you can use it for whatever you want. You could even use it for a blog if you want. So we'll call this news.xml. And let's go ahead and just create a very simple news section. Uh, we'll keep it down to maybe a title and contents, but obviously in your situation you'd want to have maybe a date, um, an author section, things like that, but we'll keep it simple. So in our XML file we'll create a root node, or just call it the news, and inside of it we'll have news, and we'll do title, and just contents. Just keep it simple. We'll just create an example. Um, going to duplicate this. Just so we have something to work with. Okay, that's fine. So, first things first, before we get started, we need to actually display the XML. So, the way I'm going to do that is we're going to use the list view control. Now, if you're using Visual Studio and you don't have this control, it's because you're not using the new Visual what Visual Studio 2008. So you can download that from their website and you'll have access to this control. So we'll do as much from Design View as we can. If the page will load. Okay. So we're going to choose a data source. We'll create a new data source and we're going to pull it from an XML file. We'll just call that news data source. And the data file is just the XML file. And we'll leave those blank. Okay, so you can see it created the list view control and our data source. So let's set up the list view. To do the layout template. And this will just create a placeholder for um, our entries. And we'll call this item placeholder. We're going to run that at the server level, that way um, it can be, be dynamically populated. Okay, and now we'll work on the item template. This will be the template for each news entry, and what it's going to do is it's going to cycle through all of the news tags in our in our XML file and display those one by one. So 
we'll want our title to be maybe a, a heading level 2 tag, and we're going to bind it. I'm sorry, not bind it. We're going to use some XPath. My computer's been so slow today. It's driving me crazy. Okay, XPath. And then here, we're just going to insert the tag name. So, here we have a tag name of title. So we'll do XPath title. Pretty simple. And next, we'll want our contents maybe in a paragraph tag. So, inside the paragraph tag, we'll do the same thing, XPath, but in this case, we'll do contents. And that's pulling it from right there. So you're saying XPath, go into the contents tag, extract that extract that um, text information, and display it in this paragraph tag. Pretty cool. So, let's run that in the browser, see if we made any mistakes. It's amazing, the more I do this, the more it drives me crazy when I have to wait. Okay, so... You can see it went into the XML file and it extracted all the data that we told it to. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's fine. As I said, with, with your new section, you know what, let's just go maybe style it a little bit. Let's say here, in my case, I'll call it Detached Designs News. You know, we're going to keep this very simple. Style it however you want. Just do a little bit of quick styling. We'll say all the paragraphs. Heading two tag. You know, I'm not going to worry about this too much. Just something to give it a little bit of um, consistency. I'm going to copy that, paste it into my style sheet. You know, we'll keep it very simple. You can do what you want. <coughs> and let's see what else. You know what I'll do, just for the sake of the example, I'll add some bread tags. You'd obviously want to use some kind of margins, but we'll keep it simple. Okay, fine. So now, let's say you want to give, set up a way for you to go to a certain page and update this XML file the same way you would update a blog, for example. So you'd have, you'd obviously want a couple text boxes, and you'd insert your information, and then you need a way for the surfer to take that information from those text boxes and insert it into your XML file. Well, luckily this is pretty easy. So let's create a new page. called insert news and here we'll insert a text box we'll give an ID of uh, text title this is where the title of their uh, entry will go and then we'll have another one and this will be text contents Just create a little bit of um, a little bit of a guide. Okay, that's fine. And we will get into the code in the very next lesson.